What's up guys? My name is Dane from Splash Guest House based here in Chiba, Japan. And this video is from the series called Learning How to Tow Foil. And this episode is specifically about learning how to pump that foil. All right, guys. Now, remember, if you have any uh, specific questions you want answered, please leave those in the comments below. And we'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. But if you can hit that subscribe button and the like button, that helps us the most and inspires us to keep doing what we're doing. So if you're ready, let's dive on in and take a look at today's video. So I'm gonna run the video um, for you just at regular speed so you can see what I'm talking about. But our rider today, this is his second session that he's been with us and he's learning actually how to pump the foil. Um, and what that does serves is two purposes is ultimately what we're trying to get him to do is let go of the rope and learn how to pump and maintain speed himself um, but also you can use that to speed up like example on a wave or use it to pump round through a corner and ultimately gain more sort of maneuverability with your board so here we go let's run the video and let you guys have a look okay so there you can go our rider today is Ralph he's 15 years old and you can do it see him just doing some beautiful pumping and everything but as always it's a bit tough to see it in in full speed so we're going to slow it down and break it down for you all right guys so what you're going to see a couple of main things you're going to notice about ralph is that he's learned to keep his upper body nice and straight his hands um, and elbows nicely bent and what he's really going to do is he's going to be working this front leg um, and that means re putting pressure in into this front leg and down on the front of the board and then releasing it as well and as he goes along you'll ultimately see him start to do that with both legs um, and sort of just like um, compress and release the bottom part of his uh, body his legs so you see here there's a beautiful big high pump and he really forces and pushes into there okay so you can see so let's uh, let's just go right back to the beginning so it makes it easy and let's just focus on a few things so all I want you to do is focus on his legs and down and see what he does with the legs don't look up up the top let's just look at his legs focus on that and the board here we go so he's really sort of pushing down with that front foot he's just using that back foot for control look at the pumping here we go look at him push that front leg down push that front leg down and he knows when that board's coming close to the water surface so he releases lets off the pressure okay now let's look at the top half of his body let's focus on where his hands are and his elbows and see how he maintains this sort of position the whole time of the hands okay and the elbow it's always on pretty much the same line okay um, there's not actual much tension in that rope you can see it wiggling around all over the place um, and it's actually him himself who's who's creating the momentum the bow's just matching him as a speed let's see what he does with his head here we go you'll see he's bullet focused straight ahead he's nice and comfortable he's not really looking down he's looking more where he's going okay and he's just working that for so again the shoulders the upper body he's not bending over he's just nicely balanced over the board there's our other camera lady um mrs adi chan she would have got some good images as he flew past all right guys so that's pretty much so the trick to pumping is learning how to release the pressure off the front foot and then force the pressure on the front foot okay and getting into a nice sort of rhythm on your board okay now each board and each fall is different um the sort of we call it the pump factor sometimes you for it pump frequency you can sort of pump the pumps can be too short or too long um so sort of with my hand you can see it here sort of doing doing that the whole time is too quick or then doing this sort of more sort of slow gradual pump so what you're trying to do is trying to find the frequency of the foil pump again some react better to sort of doing real like little, little squirty ones so that means the falls up and down only a little bit in the water and some like these big general dives generally the larger wider foils they seem to prefer 
longer, slower pumps because this there's much more sort of um, wingspan in the water that you're having to deal with. The shorter, thin, smaller foils, they seem to react a lot better to fast, quick pumps. Right, so before we finish, let's just run it one more time for you guys at full speed. So here goes Mr. Ralph. There he is. He's up and running. Board's nicely centered. And he's just got this beautiful pumping action. Really working that NSP foil. Good stuff, Mr. Ralph. One more time. Beautiful action. Really nice. All right. So that's one of the things you really want to work on when you're out behind the boat, getting a feel of the board and uh, pumping. The next step from there would be really like then just letting go of the rope totally and trying to maintain that pump and uh, glide without the aid of the rope and the, and the board. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and it's been useful. See you out there on the water soon. Cheers!